so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is a Rufus breasted hermit. And don't worry, he's struggling, but it's just because he's afraid. Good morning, everybody. How are you going? How is everybody doing today? That bird that you just saw, that species was called a uh, Rufus breasted hermit. So today, Lasana Karen is somewhere expensive. Where you carrying me? Tea and tech. <laughs> yeah. But I'm feeling a little hungry, boy. You could carry me for something to eat. We'll have to get something to eat too. Yeah. I'm feeling hungry too. But I want something light. Something light? Yeah. All right. Because it's tea and tech, we go in now. All right, all right, all right. I'll shock you. I'll shock you. After tea and tech, after paying the electricity bill, don't know where we headed. We don't know. You know how, you know we how it is go with us. Yeah, you know how we just roll and we look at time because we had to pick up Suri, you know? Yeah, so, Princess Margaret. So we'll see what we could do. Yeah. And you know, anywhere we go, we're bringing you with us. Or carrying. Or carrying. <laughs> Let me go, man. Let me go. Help me. Give me a rev. Give me a rev. <laughs> Jacob, this rev is for you, boy. Yeah, man. We had to go on our ride that day, brother. Yeah, boy. Right? Yeah, <laughs> along the eastern main road just past Massey stores there and we continuing traffic not that bad flowing right so we now leave Tunapuna and we enter in St. Augustine Exodus Panyard Tiantek selling doubles too. Yeah, boy, it looks like Tiantek selling something other than current. Yeah. Right, but um. So in the current situation, I'm watching the time, it's half past nine. I think we have enough time that we can make it to Maracas and back in time to pick up Miss Suri. You, you feel so? Bro? I feel so, I All know right. so. So I'm, we head in. I'm good. I'm putting my faith and trust in here. Yes. But watch that nice shop behind me. Yeah, yeah man. So, so, so. Maracas. Maracas. Alright. Yeah, let me go. Okay. Pitiful right now. 
Yeah, man. Pity boo, I used to this one. This one's my old stopping ground. So we turn on to Ryan Street, and anybody who go in Maracas, I sure they know this sign. I sure they know this building. Well, he definitely represented the Amerindian. The Amerindian people. So it's something in memorial of Amerindian people, I would say. Um, okay. This Saddle Road connects Saka Falls with Maraval. some cocoa trees just growing casually on the side of the road growing majestically I make less on us for a reason because I had a big up the YBR boy. You can real. The YBR are going, we go in until we shut down. You can real handle it. You can real handle this bike. Uh, like how you could handle me? No, well, I wouldn't say that. No, please don't let the public feel like that is having on a leash or something. Oh, gosh. Woo! Let me roll. Yeah, let me go. Hold on now. Kinda angle eye boy, angle eye. <laughs> we had to stop and let the bike cool off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we here at the lookout, you know. So in the back of me, you'd be seeing um, vendors selling chows, chips, things like sugar cakes, tamarind balls. You All know, sort of preservatives. Preservatives and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So look at this street. This is actually a cloud touching the mountain or the mountain touching the cloud you know you don't know which one coming down and which one going up because the two just meeting right there and you know just some mellow vibes I know you must have seen this view a billion times already but they didn't see it on this day but all you didn't see it today at this time as Lasana said <laughs> You know, if you have a little boat. What's that? If you have a little boat. Yeah. You could have access to all of these nice little small bees on there. Yeah, the nice little bees. I wonder. One day I'll have uh, better equipment so I could zoom in more and show all you the little nooks and crannies that Lasana talking about. Yes. Well, I know this lady's face must look familiar because you would have seen her on other videos and things. Auntie, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I am good. How are you, buddy? Fine. Thank you. Thank you for letting me tape you and, and put you out there again. <laughs> well, we have been here quite a while. Actually, April this year uh, made it 20 years for 20 us. 20 years. So we celebrated our 20th anniversary. So you started this when you was like five years because you're looking like 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the business was started by my sister. Okay. Right. right. Um, yeah. Which was like I said 20 years ago and um, 
gradually um, we this well it's like a family business. Yes. So her husband yeah. is here, her daughter is here, and yeah. I'm her sister. So it's like a family thing and then I just came in. Um, about 15 years now. Lovely. My sister will really start it up. Okay. I, I remember the initial days uh, when we first started seeing Charles oh, being yeah. sold up here and stuff and then it went on to preservatives and other other things right yeah because usually um actually what i like to tell people is that when my sister started it was just five puppies she had yeah i remember it was just a few <laughs> and it was just a child and every time yeah. we come to maracas we'd be like wow they have more stuff and more stuff and more stuff yes, you know yes. And it's things that you don't usually find like in a in a normal shop, eh? Oh, yeah, yes. like for example the tomato balls. When last all you had tomato balls. Look at it. Paradise, Paradise plum. plum. I remember Paradise Plum for being sold for five cents. Five cents when I was <laughs> in that, primary school. And you are a lot, but you're not even looking that old to remember five cents for Paradise Plum. I used to I used to pay five cents for Paradise Plum. As you say that as I see that five there. No, she was worried. She said that how they didn't put out everything. But let me show all you. She said it didn't have many things up yet. But let me show all you how many things here. So sweet ice prunes, rice so cake. We have the long time one, the rice cake. Yeah. Chili bb. Chili bb. But well, we always have the Kurma. Then it's the balls. Yeah. Usually we will have the sticks. We don't have any right now. This okay. Is, yeah. Then we have fudge, tamarind ball, and of course the old snack tulum. Tulum. Can't go wrong with tulum. Never. I love. I love and that. Ball. So we have a lot of the long time snacks that people is come and ask for. So we try to have it. So all it is make all these things by all yourself. Um, actually, a uh, while back we used to, but now we have suppliers. So you're out. So yes, some of it. We have, um, suppliers because it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a, a lot. lot of yes. I have listen folks there's something for everybody there's something cherry pom cite plum cucumber this mango no this one is pom cite, pom -cite as well pom -cite. sliced pom cite and the famous pineapple, pineapple sugar cakes nut cake penne cake chiblo the indian sweet here I could get some money, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want some money. I see you think that my daughters will love. So we come early and we we met them preparing the bags of chow. I feel like I could just spend the day here watching these people, you know. <laughs> I get my I get my money. I get my money. <laughs> For that day, but first I want to taste my chow. Mm -hmm. And they don't nut the bag too tight, so it's very <laughs> they nut it just right so that it's easy to open but the sauce don't leak out. <laughs> that is technique. <laughs> yeah, the girl laughing in the back. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Nice shot of any hunting on that boy. Yeah, boy. Just what the doctor ordered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Correct? Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the chow? It's perfect. Correct. <laughs> Correct. It's so perfect. We have so when you buy any chow, you have the option to take pepper or no pepper. Now I love pepper girl, but I skipped breakfast this morning. So I don't want the first thing to be going into my mouth, into my stomach to be pepper, right? <laughs> this is good to break your fast. Mm -hmm. Let them see if they, if yeah, they like it. Like it. <laughs> What's all you have there? Some sweets. I want yeah. Yeah, the other seeds. Mm -hmm. Right? With some um, barfi, kurma, gulab oh, jamun. Sila do, yeah, you see? At least it's sealer, some kind of sugar yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
just one second. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, well, thanks a lot. Have a good day, right? So did you get in there? Yeah. Yeah, we get us already. Oh, you have it. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Seven days to the week. Seven days to the week. Yeah. When you want to succeed, you have to put in your work, right? Yes. Yes. Especially after the corporate tax to make sure that. Yeah. Alright then, bye. <laughs> <laughs> And the fish fillet inside is tender and juicy. All right, folks. I given all your little teas, right? A little teas this morning. I tease myself because I have bring my pot suit. The beautiful maracas, babe. They have all the elements. Sunny skies, clouds, coconut trees, blue waters, breeze. 
so we live on the beach. Well, let me tell them bye until we reach home. Bye. Now, we do no taping. We don't have time to do any taping on the way back. We can't tape on the way back because time, right? Miss so. Vidya, we go reach for half past one. Please, Miss Vidya, don't give my child 15 homo again today. <laughs> Every day, 15 homo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you all on the next side. We'll see you all in Cora. We make it back home in time because watch. Watch that weather, watch that weather. Just in time. Made a little half cup of coffee. And these are some of the things that I bought from the Maracas Bay Lookout. So Ladu, 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 however you want to pronounce it, it's made with split pea powder, okay? Split pea powder is basically grind down. That's the same thing that is used to make curry. The boulders in the sauce that you just get in prayers and stuff, yeah. So what they would do, they would take the split pea powder, make it into a paste, pass it through a sieve or a colander so that the paste, you know, evens out and becomes a bit more smooth. Something like this, all right? So they'll push the batter through it into some heated oil. Once that is fry and cool, you will pulse it or grind it, get it into a fine powder, almost to the consistency of dal that you'd put in dal pre. From that point, you put in your powdered milk, your powdered cardamom, powdered ginger, condensed milk, ghee also, and you just combine everything together and roll it into the ball shape that you're seeing here. Golab jamun or fat karma. How you make it is that you make a dough with flour, milk, your flavorings such as ginger, cardamom, butter. Um, you can put some ghee also inside there. And you just bring it all together, shape it like what you're seeing here, deep fry it until it's fully cooked and then you make a pag. And you know on the fat kerma as well as the normal kerma, there is a crunchy coating, a crunchy sugar coating. That's called a pag, which is basically sugar and water reduced down to a consistency that when you throw it over the fried items and you keep turning while the oxygen hits it, it's going to begin to harden and create that nice crust, that nice sugary shell over the, um, over the items. What's next? Sugar cake. When somebody call you sugar cake, darling, it means you're real sweet and you have real flavor. Take it as a compliment. <laughs> sugar cake basically is sugar and shredded coconut. Some people grate it small, which you could see here on the surface of it, and some people get, tend to grate it bigger. You put your sugar and your coconut in a pot, low heat, you keep turning, you add your flavorings, essence. Some people add a little bit of salt also, just to kind of create a contrast of flavor for the taste buds to appreciate the sweet. The salt does that. And you keep cooking until it has reduced considerably. When the consistency has reached, you spread it out long time. What they used to do is they used to take dollops of the cooked mixture and put them onto green fig leaves. That's how I grew up making sugar cakes. And you just leave it out there, cover it with a light material so that the flies don't get on it and leave it to harden. But you know, long time part of the excitement was to teeth some of the sugar cakes from only fig leaves before they even get time to harden or before they even get time to dry. I mean, if you didn't do that, it was not a child, right? Chili baby. Chili means cold. Baby means baby. So this is basically cold baby. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's not the true meaning of that chili baby. <laughs> chili baby's roots go back to the Creole community. And it's basically parched corn or patch corn you take your dry corn kernels off of the husks patch them or patch them in an iron or metal pot until it's cooked keep turning it then they'd grind it traditionally it was ground um 
in a mortar and pestle or ground traditionally on stone whatever technique you need to get it to a powder form when you achieve the powder form you add your sugar that's it that's what chili bb is long time i used to buy chili bb 25 cents many many moons ago and i used to get it in a kind of cone shaped thing that you used to get the china in long time too yeah that's why i used to get it in tulum is grated coconut and molasses mixed together and if you don't have money for tulum then you have half the amount ask them for a lum instead i get a joke from uncle Dude when i was small but somehow it was funnier when he told it a bus day barfi barfi is milk is milk and all kinds of nice things milk cardamom powder ginger powder you mix powdered milk and some cream together pass it through a sieve so that the texture becomes smooth you add some you add some of the pag as well you mix it all together put it in a tray press it down add your sprinkles on top score it on the top so that you'll get your perfect squares another thing from a long time i used to love was a rice cake when you see daddy go to the market and come back on a sunday morning we're looking for a rice cake similar to the sugar cake you used to get all different colors of rice cake you could get a red pink green yellow rice cake and that's all achieved simply by adding food coloring i used to wonder how they used to get rice like this you patch it just like you did with the corn and the chili baby patch the rice fry it you make a, a pan Put it in your tray, pat it down, get your nice squares. And so I grew up eating these things and you know, it brings back so many wonderful memories. I hope it did to you as well. Life gets busy and anytime you want to take a trip down memory lane and you're not able to make these things yourself, you can get it by the Maracas Lookout. Can't wait to share these with the girls. Everything. Everything. Cheers. Oh, no, Only three homework today? Yes. Alright, what else you get? Uh, a balloon. A balloon? Yeah. Wow, what color is that? Red. Red is my favorite color, but my dad has red. Red is your favorite color? Yes. Just like the traffic lights? Just like the traffic lights? Yes. You're so smart. Yeah. So here that's now. Can you say chili baby? Yes. Yeah. Chili baby. Chili baby. Say tulum. Yeah. Sugar cake. Sugar cake. Barfi. Golab jamun. Maracas Road, but we were going so fast I couldn't tape them. I know. Look, they in El Dorado. So, girls, how was all your day today? Real good. Real good? Yes. Do you know where we went today? Where? Daddy, tell them where we went. Maracas Beach. Maracas. But we didn't beat. We didn't beat. We went on the bike and we got some surprises for all you. There's some things that we used to eat when we were small in primary school. Things like tulum and sugar cake and something called chili bb. Hey, I have something to say. When you say sugar cake, that reminded me of when, I, when we were doing mathematics and, it was, and we had some Diwali stuff. Uh huh. So it had sugar cake, bar feet. <coughs> Karma. I bought those things for you also, Barfi and Karma and Golab Jamun. Okay. And jelly cake. And uh, cocoa balls. We had oh. this. Oh, look at all of that? No, but it was inside our box, so we had to turn. Oh. You like any match problem now? Yeah. You know, like long time Tim used to have five crayons we know oh. tim has five right, right, right. sugar cakes all right like um bob had 50 hundred mm -hmm. candies mm -hmm. and he ate 40 hundred of them how right. many did he have what did he get so what diabetes 
he got diabetes. <laughs> well, he had to get diabetes. <laughs> my, my tree sugar cakes in the back. You see my tree sugar cakes? Yes. I knew some before. I used number one sugar cake too. <laughs> Knockout situation. So I'm making a nice little sample platter here for the girls and them. And we'll gauge the reaction. What do you say? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Huh? Try your rice cake now. Okay. Where you find your rice cake? Rice cake look like rice cripsy. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites. You like barbecue? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You should put it in my hand like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And we see it like this. How that tastes? Good. Don't like go to the back of your throat because you could choke. Mm -hmm. Just put it in your mouth. Mm hmm Wow. How it is? You want to try it with this spoon? So you taste everything or you now taste any sugar, okay? Yeah. So you taste everything here? And which one's your favorite? Are oh, you forgetting me about the dal again? The ladu? Yeah. That one. My favorite one was the barfi. The barfi? Yes. All right. Well. So like this is a mini croissant. That's the goal I'm trying to slice up. <laughs> I call it mini croissant. Yeah. Another happy day. Until next time. Be happy. Be, be safe. safe.